Yeah, just uh, really proud of the guys. They they put forth great effort. You know, we didn't start good again. Unfortunately, they went right down the field and scored on us. But after that, I thought the defense played lights out, and uh, you know, and then I, I thought offensively. You know, we had over 500 yards of offense. I think we had you know 360, 370 at halftime. Uh, you know, so I, I thought it was a a good game in all three phases. Uh, you know, did a pretty good job with some, uh, you know, punting and covering and fielding kicks and and kickoff. They had the nice one early in the ball game, uh, and then after that, we did a pretty good job of closing the door in that area as well. So, uh, just a, a good, solid team win where all three phases play well. And, uh, you know, we had zero penalties. You know, I don't know when the last time we had zero penalties was. So, that was also big. Well, hell, everybody needed it. Coaches, my wife, everybody needed one. Chris Matry needed one. Tom needed one. God dang, we all needed one. It's, you know, it's it's been a tough year, you know, and, and you know, I'm just proud of the guys. I, I, I said it down there in the locker room, but, you know, you, you, uh, you know, you go through this adversity and, and, uh, and a lot of times, uh, you know, it doesn't reveal character, it reveals lack of character. And our guys have, have done a good job of, of uh, staying together, not acting a fool. You know, and they, I see that happen a lot. I, I know a couple of my buddies who are having tough seasons, and one of them called me and said, hey, what do you do? And you're, I said, you know, you, I got guys, you know, entering the portal and quitting and being being a, a fool during practice. And, you know, I was thinking to myself, thank goodness I haven't had that, you know, and and uh, that's something I pride myself on. You know, I, 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 I want to make sure that uh, we, we know how to conduct ourselves uh, when we're facing adversity. And these guys have done a great job of that. And the staff, you know, it's tough. You know, it, it's, uh, you know, it's difficult uh, when you get in this situation, but the guys have done a very good job with it. It is really tough. You know, he just, you know, uh, he, he he was a complete back when he got here. And I'm, you know, Coach Tierney, I'm gonna give him a lot. Of, I guess I can't say that. Can't is it a recruiting violation or what? But, but he played for a great high school coach, and he was, uh, you know, he just he he was he was that way when he came here, and and he's continued to do it. And he's a, another guy. He's faced a lot of adversity with injuries and things, and and uh, but he just he's just tough. You know. He, he, Go all day, every day. You know, he just, he's just going to give you everything he's got. Oh, I, I sure hope so. You know, he just, uh, he's just been banged up all year. And he's banged up this week. You know, and we, we kind of backed off of him Thursday and Friday. And, and he looked pretty healthy out there today. Threw some good balls, some good touch balls. I mean, he needed to put a little bit of loft and air on him. He did it. You know, I call it a one ball, two ball, three ball. I think he he threw about, I don't know, three or four threes that, you know, the only person could catch was our guy, and it had to be a three in order to complete it. So uh, uh, just a nice nice job by by Mike. We're tackling pretty good. I know Coach Hampton's going to be upset because we didn't tackle as well as we needed to at times. If we would have done that, we probably would have held them under 200 yards of offense. Uh, I thought for the most part, I know it might not have looked like it, but I thought we did a pretty good job of maintaining our pass rush lanes on this guy because he's dangerous. He, he gets out of those those uh, the pocket, you know, and, and the, the receivers do a good job of running scrambling routes. Our, our DBs did a good job of maintaining contact with their with their guy on, on scramble play. So uh, that's where they'd really hurt people the last few weeks was, you know, nine getting outside of the pocket, extending plays and, and the receivers uh, staying alive in their routes. Yeah, you know, he came here as a walk on and uh, uh, earn a scholarship. You know, some guys are given a scholarship some, and then they earn it and some guys just earn it. You know, and he earned it. And, uh, you know, he's uh, he's getting ready to get done with his master's. He's going to go to law school, you know. So 
he done pretty good. His last, last night I introduced all the seniors and they all spoke a little bit. And every guy's going to have his degree and or his master's degree with the transfer guy. So we were batting 100 percent again. Well, it'd be great. You know, we're just gonna, uh, you know, celebrate this win for a little bit, and then uh, you know, start looking at uh, Memphis tomorrow. Thank you. Man, it was needed. It was needed. I'm out of breath. We just had a little locker room party, mm -hmm. which was very much needed. We missed that, man. And, you know, like Coach Fritz just said before the game, he was like, let's go out and give it all. It's, you know, this season really didn't hand us a good card, but, you know, it's not about how you start. It's about how you finish. It's about your attitude as far as having pride, being on your home field one last time in front of your fans until next year. Just go out there and give it to all, and that's what we did, and I'm so proud of this team. Most definitely. Just, you know, that quarterback is a great athlete. Um, To say he's a freshman, he's going to be dynamic. Dynamic guy, um, able to move around uh, out of the pocket, extend plays with his feet, you know, got a good arm, left-handed quarterback, which is pretty rare. Um, and the key to the game was, you know, keeping him, you know, under pressure, um, making him have to really use that athleticism, try to make throws. Um, I feel like that was the momentum changer, just, you know, hitting him, getting sacks, you know, uh, when he rolling out the pocket and trying to extend plays, you know, playing good coverage on the back end and, you know, just throwing his mojo off because, you know, without him, that offense, you know, couldn't function. And that's what we did. Uh, just most definitely, you know, just, you know, like Coach Hemp said, you know, as a defense, you are, oftentimes you got to outplay the other the opponent's defense. And, you know, that's just been the standard, you know, trying to play perfect ball, trying to play, you know, lights out defense. And that's what we've done in uh, these past four weeks, which is amazing, you know. I, it just clicked to, you know, play to our identity, play true to our standard. Um, coach Hemp's a dynamic coach. Um, he's going to do great things for this program, and I'm just excited to see where it goes forward. Most definitely. It's, it's been some long nights <laughs> after the games, but, you know, I'm just glad that we got a win at home. Um, we got more, one more next week, which is going to be exciting. Play Memphis is always exciting, especially going up there to an environment like that in the Liberty Bowl. Um, we just, we just want to finish with a W and have that going into next season. It, it is too early to make that decision. I'm just, you know, focused on playing this last game right now. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, you know, well, you know, it's been a rough year. So I mean, like, this is it's, it's great, you know, to have a win. You know, a lot of people, you know, kind of like, kind of, I guess, got discouraged, you know, because how the season was, the season was going. But um, I think uh, it's really, you know, what you do when you're one and nine. You know, like a lot of guys, a lot of people give up. You know, they, they don't know where to turn. But, you know, we just over overcame that adversity and keep pushing. Right. I mean, you know, like uh, early in the season, I think uh, we had a, a lot of adversity there, you know, with the storm and just being misplaced and everything. So I really thought, you know, it took a, a mental focus, you know, just to get to where we were trying to go, you know, because things kind of started off rough. But I think uh, everybody, you know, kind of bought in, you know, locked into what they had to do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, considering last year, you know, I had a pretty great year, uh, 
with sacks and TFLs last year, you know. But you know, this this year's kind of been rough with you know, which is a defense and uh, offense in general. But um, you know, it's, it's it's exciting, you know. Uh, first sack this year, so. Right, for sure. You know, the biggest thing, the biggest game plan, you know, we, we prep for, you know, just not letting him out the pocket, you know, just keep him in the pocket. You know, he's a, a shifty guy. He can stick one foot and go go another way. So that's that's really what the game plan. Keep him in the pocket. Don't let him get out and throw the ball. All right. I mean, you know, it's, it's phenomenal. You know, you got the, the great enthusiasm on the sideline. You know, you got the, the fans in the crowd saying, up. So, you know, it's just a great feeling overall, you know. We didn't really have a, had that, you know, feeling in a while. So, you know, it was just it was a great experience. All right. All right. I mean, I think I think it's just believing it, you know, just sticking together, you know, you know, every man just does his job, you know, no matter no matter what game it is, you know, like each game is the next game is always uh, just as important as the last one, you know. So like, you know, you put one foot in front of the other and just keep going. You know what I'm saying? All right, right for sure. You, like like I say, you know, uh, we got Memphis next week. You know, it's the most important game because it's the next week. And like, so we're gonna prepare for that, that game just like we prepare for this game. So. Thank you. All right, last one for the day. Saving the best for last. Um, you talked about you thought you were close. It may have been hard for outsiders to see how gratifying it is to get too close and then you come out and play. Oh, it was awesome just to you know see the offense dominate. Um, I think. You know, the offense finally going out there and we got started early. That's been the biggest thing for us is we got to start fast. Um, and we did that today. And, you know, that energy just kind of transferred to the defense and, it, you know, just kept rolling all day, um, which is really important for us. Uh, I felt really good. I think a lot of it was the game plan. Uh, Coach Long did a really great job just setting me up for success. Um, you know, we knew exactly what they were going to do. And, you know, just that preparation that he gave me, you know, really helped me execute. Um, and then it just came down to me making throws and our receivers making plays. And I think they did a really great job of that today. How much of practice on getting tied this year was pretty banged up? Mm -hmm. not here, so it was like, that was a big thing on your mm -hmm. But what made you stick with that? Just his mentality. He's a, he's a dog for sure. You know, he comes out every day and, you know, he competes his butt off and makes everybody around him better and makes himself better every single day. You know, those are the guys who won in this program and, you know, it's contagious and he's done a really good job this year. Yeah, I mean, it's a question I don't really think about, but, you know, you just got to do what you can with the situation. And, uh, you know, I think it was a, a, a lesson. You know, I got to prepare a little better in the off season, put a little more weight on, um, and just be able to maintain throughout the season. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Uh, I think since week one, you know, that was a, First time since week one, we've really had that that fire. Um, and, you know, we just came out and we did the little things right and we made plays and it just continued and continued. When you guys kind of like pulled that trigger along redemption, which mm -hmm. is why I see you talk on the question, mm -hmm. how many do you see those guys just Yeah, I mean, it gives, you know, the whole offense a lot of confidence. Um, give like, like I said, it just reciprocates to everybody, you know. The O line seeing the receivers make plays when you know they're able to give me some time back there. Um, just everybody working together and you know being on the same page. That's what's what's, what's difficult about offense is you know all, all eleven guys have to be on the same page to make a great play. And uh, you know I think everything clicked today and we were able to do that. Definitely, uh, we we really needed it um, just to get the morale back up and you know to some motivation to you know continue working hard. You know one thing I can say about these guys is no matter the the outcome of the past 10 weeks, um, you know, everybody's come to practice every week and worked their butt off, you know, like we were 10 and out. Um, and, you know, that's something that I really respect about these guys. And, uh, you know, just getting this win, you know, the motivation going into next week, you know, we got to have another great week of practice and, you know, hopefully get another big win next week going into the off season.
as a leader? How, how, how do you think how you guys go for it? Um, I mean, I think it, it wasn't just me. I think it was a lot of guys, um, you know, just trying to keep the spirits up and, you know, controlling the controllable, um, you know, just throughout the whole season. Um, you know, everybody really stepped up and we were able to do that. Did you have a particular favorite play today out of so many? Um, I think our, our series opener, I think it was a second drive, um, faking the speed and faking the reverse and hit Tyreek on that the wheel route for the touchdown. Yeah, appreciate it. Cool. Good game, Thank you.